Welcome back home to the Texas Podcast Massacre, coming to you from Houston, Texas. I'm your host, Mitch, and as always, I am joined with the yin and yang of horror fandom, my co-host, Nate. You can't punch ectoplasm. And Lisa. Nate stole my quote. <laughs> uh, that's why you got to come to the production meetings. Yeah. We got to have this out. Get there early. Uh, this is now the fifth episode of Texas Podcast Massacre. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, for those that are new to the show, each week we take a look at a different horror movie. Uh, we discuss some news and uh, we have a good old fashioned debate uh, with our unsuspecting victims. Now, our unsuspecting victims are typically people who. Uh, we have to kind of force to watch these movies. Um, but this week, we've, we've done a little something different. We haven't just brought you one unsuspecting victim. We didn't bring you two unsuspecting Calm down, victims. LeBron. Calm <laughs> down here. We brought you th- 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 three unsuspecting <laughs> victims. Uh, this week, we've evened the odds as Lisa has invited both Jackie and Patricia. What up? Hello. <laughs> uh, they'll be joining the horror haters. Uh, now, not to be outdone, Nate and I have also brought in, you like that? Uh, I brought in uh, our friend Josh to join us on the pro horror side. Yeah, just even and out the crowd here. Is yeah, there anything right. to do with the gender line that you yeah, just a, yeah, thrown yeah. in the, the I feel the like sexes thing It is here. unintentional because. I'm just saying, I feel like there's both gen, you know, correlation does not equate. Well, that's, because, that's my point, but like I feel like there's many, you know. Women well, if we had love brought in Kirti, she would have been them. able to. We brought an earlier female guest that loves horror movies. Yeah, so. Just just the, this just out. happens to be coincidental. Okay. Um, but so just to introduce ourselves to everyone. So Josh, as a pro horror fan, um, I guess what, what would be your favorite horror movie? Yeah, I actually had a hard time thinking about this, but I think it's probably something along the lines of it. Oh, nice. which is nice. It's current, but you know, going to be remade current. But so are you excited for their remake? I am a little bit. I mean, even though it's not Tim Curry. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> He's like the movie's not four hours long, so That's I'm, true. Not, I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, I, for this. I recall this movie as being two tapes long. Yeah, <laughs> yes. two tapes. Yeah. Godfather two. It that's like the two tapers in the and collection. Titanic. And Titanic. Titanic. Yeah. 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 And Pearl Harbor. Just yeah. Yeah. No one watched Pearl Harbor. Ooh. That. I, mean, <laughs> I was a teenage girl, man. What do you want from yeah. me? Don't forget. Don't forget about Gone with the Wind. Oh yeah, oh, there, see, right. classic. Good one. <laughs> see, we had Betamax, so I don't know what it was. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, now Patricia. So you're not really a horror fan, but I, I think you're a little more okay with them. Is that fair? That, that's accurate. Yeah. Okay. So, what type of horror movie do you do you tend to like a little bit? Is there one you leaned more toward, or I like the ones that uh, that mess with your head a little. So as soon as I see a monster, I'm I'm done with it. I don't I don't care about those. But I like the ones like uh, like Wait Until Dark, um, stuff with. Did you real... see Get Out? Yes, love yeah. that one. Yeah. Nice. Solid. Those are solid movies. Um. Okay. And now, now Jackie, for everyone at home, Jackie. Uh, I, I need to mention, is our model for the unsuspecting. Can victims. I say something yes. just off the bat? Thank you for being here, Jackie. <laughs> thank you for your service. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, did I have a choice? No, but okay. thank you anyway. <laughs> we like to think that you did. Or we would like you to think that you did. But Okay. Well, you didn't have to get in the car, but you did choose to get in the car. <laughs> Valid. Yeah. Valid. Valid. The peer pressure and everything. It's right. Fine. It's so, fine. Jackie, I, it's safe to say you hate horror movies. Is that? Yes, I'm not a fan at all. <laughs> <laughs> not a fan at all. So what about them do you hate? Is there something in particular? Is it just? Everything. Everything, everything about them? <laughs> okay. No, I'm just, I'm being like, you know, honest. Uh, I don't like gory for the sake of gore. So that like is like half the horror movies out there yeah. are just a lot of gore for it. No, don't get me wrong. I like shows like Game of Thrones and stuff. There's gore. I just don't watch it. I just don't watch the gore. You know? <laughs> Turn that's, away. That's sexy gore. Gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. That's sexy yeah. gore. I just don't look at the gore. You know what I mean? But like a lot of horror movies are just for the sake of it, right? Okay. And then I, I don't. I don't mess with the supernatural. I'm Catholic. That does. You know. No it way. doesn't fly. No, I mean, when I was a yeah. kid, like, my mom was like, don't play with the Ouija board. That's, that's wow. like, the one rule in her house was when you went out to, you weren't well, allowed we'll, we'll to, bring her back to for play the Ouija with the episode. Ouija board oh, because God, we don't play that game, uh, okay? Well, we, okay, so we've already had one? No, we didn't. No, no, we didn't have okay. one. Like, when I went to sleepovers or whatnot, okay. 
She was like, oh. one she thing. She specific instruction about that one do game not. every time you left the house. Not now every listen, time I left the house. But it was do memorable not touch it. enough that, you know, years years later, I remember it's it. Like, what bring, about bring your own holy water when you <laughs> to wash up? Hey, just man, in case. hey, man, my go. grandma has holy water in her house, so it's oh not even a, we're that Catholic. Well, I mean, you never know when the devil's going to take over a Milton Bradley game. You never know. It's just, why chance it? Patricia, one <laughs> chance. What about why, why, if you got why, the holy water? Open use the it, door. Right? Why yeah, right. open the that's door? To that. That's just that's what it. about so, light as a feather, stiff as a board. I, I, I mean, okay. I don't think we're foreign. I don't think my mom knew about that game. Okay, so, oh. okay, so it's okay. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's okay. So like, yeah. So I don't, I don't know Based, why I played that though. Half of all horror movies made. Could have been prevented had they followed, I think, your mom's rule. So, <laughs> I mean, we, we've already done The Omen, exactly. and we just did the Amityville Horror. That, yeah, well, we are, we, in the Amityville Horror, we know all the priests, all the clergy, Catholics were being were destroyed. Just, yeah. So it wouldn't, it wouldn't even have mattered yes, at that point. But they got out, okay? <laughs> they got in that house. And then the second they got, they're like, nope, nope not, not messing, messing with, with this shit. Mm. Got out. It's like, what flock? <laughs> and I'm out. All right, great. In the okay. name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Bye. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, thank y'all so much for coming on the show with us this week. Uh, with that said, we are going to go into the news. The first eyewitness account came from people who were understandably frightened and almost incoherent. Now, this week for the news, I have two new releases that are coming out. Uh, one is a video game, and it's not coming out till much later this year, but E3 just kind of released a, a pretty awesome trailer, so we'll talk about that. That was, that was the last week, right? Yeah. Okay. And then uh, Darkness Rising is the movie we'll kind of be discussing that's coming out uh, this weekend. Um, so first, let's go through the game. Uh, this is based off the board game and the classic short story, uh, Call of Cthulhu. Uh, it's an uh, upcoming semi-open world role-playing survival horror video game. It, it pretty much is listed every genre you can throw on it. Yeah, and survival so horror, yeah, role-playing, all of it. So this is coming out in December uh, for PC, PS4, and Xbox One. Um, so the storyline is the game follows private investigator Edward Pierce as he investigates the death of an entire family on Darkwater Island <laughs> near Boston, Massachusetts, and discovers the impending revival of the Great Old One. Uh, that's so like a it, that's like a requirement. This has to be in the Northeast, right? Is that like? A, well, yeah, they all are. Yeah, right? it has to be in the Northeast, or else what's the point? Right? So it's yeah. a horror World of Warcraft. Is that? <laughs> I don't. You know, I watched a trailer. I mean, it wasn't a gameplay trailer, right? It was just kind of yeah. a cinematic one, mm -hmm. and I don't know what makes it a role play. Like, I don't know if it's going to be like Resident Evil, where it's role playing and that you just kind of boost your stats as the game goes. Um, but I, I don't know. So. Any, guess, any of you guys gamers that would that, yeah, yeah do any of y'all play some of these horror games or any no. well, I, no. I played Plants vs Zombies yeah that's a good one I, really I like that one that's about as horror <laughs> as I guess that's a great intense. game I like that okay. one that's a good one um, how about you Josh yeah I mean I played a few games of this of this nature open and RPG and horror uh, so I'm I'm interested to see where this one goes but I suspect it'll be a lot of the same same kind of thrills yeah. I kind of, I, I, I'm, I'm kind of cautious about it as well. Can you play as Cthulhu? Yeah. How many tentacles do you have at your disposal? Is <laughs> that, really the question. Uh, sadly, I don't think you can. Oh. Which is again That's missed opportunity. I, yeah. I, I really think you know who knows if Friday the Thirteenth video game had gone a little bit better, maybe there'd be more of a market for being able to play as the villain. Yeah. Yeah. Once a single player comes out on that Friday the Thirteenth game, we're we'll probably have to get a copy. Might have to live stream <laughs> Check that it one. Out. Yeah, yeah. It might see be what's going on. Might be big. Okay, so the movie coming out this weekend I wanted to highlight is called Darkness Rising. Um, is this in the <laughs> Darkness Falls franchise? You say yes. <laughs> I, it'd be better if it was. Oh, I, know, I'm, I, I hate it. to disappoint. Dang it. Uh, so I'll just. So what we normally do uh, is we'll, I'll read a short synopsis. It probably won't give you a whole lot of anything. It's just something I've – my notes from when I watched the trailer. And you tell me if this is something you would be – is this a movie that I could talk you into? No. <laughs> we are right. early, we are early blind answer in um, this movie. The tagline is nearly murdered as a child by her mother. A woman returns to the house where her mom went mad. No, nope. this is the story of a girl named Izzy who comes home uh, or back to her childhood home. And it appears that there are voices talking to her. I guess they have a thing where it sounds like, you, you know, there's, Something making these people do horrible things, and maybe that's why the mother schizophrenia. 
Right. Who is, knows? Is, Who knows? Is, is, is this going to be the classic uh, Native American burial ground kind of deal that we just had last episode? Nah, no, I, I, I don't not. know. I, I don't not. know. Her eyes go like totally white and get all creepy oh, and okay. does the little like neck, you know, twerking thing. Twerking's not definitely twerking. not the, neck, the, neck, not the technical the term. I, I don't I don't know that that is industry term. Uh, yeah, but, Mitch, you're, so you're, you're, on you're on the cutting yeah. edge. You're on the cutting edge. Sexy no, gore. No. Yeah. I, I'm sexy saying gore. It, it is an an industry term, just not a term for this industry. No. No. Fair, <laughs> super fair. Yeah. Uh, so, is this a movie that y'all would be interested in? Yeah, I mean, it sounds it sounds like an interesting premise. I mean, now I'm curious, like, what the heck happened? Yeah, the trailer doesn't do it a whole lot of favors, to be fair. Oh, so okay. it's it's not that it's a bad trailer, but it, it's very, it's very okay. I've sort of seen what what you maybe before. should do from from now on is you should say, all right, so here's the trailer of the movie. The last movie that this person did is Blake, and then I can give you a real good response. Like, oh yeah, this guy, the last movie. This I guy didn't did recognize was... anyone in this movie. Oh, nice. Nice. I don't well, know okay. that already your plan is but like uh, the last not movie this work. guy directed was Jeepers Creepers two, and I'm like, right, I'm in. Let's, let's do this. <laughs> but uh, if not, you know, who knows? When does Jeepers Creepers three come out? It's supposed to come out sometime. Why did uh, they continue making it? <laughs> because it's 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 not the the horror movie monster you need, but it's the one you deserve. Yeah, <laughs> a, a flying one. <laughs> uh, yeah. The, hopefully it's more like the first I think it's supposed to be a direct sequel to the first one whereas this the second one's like it's it's a yeah. sequel in that it's another movie yeah they got too but cute but it's not like it's not like after the it's events in, it's the in the first. universe right. yeah exactly. they got too cute with it yeah exactly okay that brings us to this week's question of the week you probably have quite a few opinions but it's important to remember one thing you're wrong what was the biggest fear at your childhood home? So in our weekly movie this week of Housebound, Kylie returns home, and we'll get more into that in a second. But part of the, I guess, the fun of this movie and, and really the question behind it is, are, were there things when you were growing up about your house that maybe kept you up at night, you know, where there were noises, maybe something to that effect? So we'll kind of go around round table. Uh, I guess we'll start on this side. So Patricia... What made what went bump in the nine year old house? Oh man, I had a cat, and this cat was was it a black black cat? No, he was oh. orange. Oh, but he okay. was kind of an asshole. So uh, when I was uh, three, he would flatten himself out and he would scoot under the gap in my door while I was sleeping, and he would scratch my toes, and oh, I would okay. scream for my parents, and then he would hide under the bed, and they would come in and they would tell me that it was a dream and everything was fine, and not to worry. Then they would go back, and then. He would come out and he would play with my toes again. That's terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Did they ever resolve it? Did they ever figure out? Did you ever set up a video recorder? To yeah, they, they caught him one time because they, they looked under my bed. And after that, they started stuffing towels under the crack in my door. <laughs> so he couldn't do that. Sometimes he would get in earlier in the day. He would anticipate. And lie in wait. Yeah, and lie in yeah. wait. Jesus Christ. But, yeah, he was an asshole, but he like planned. He was yeah, he's like I just want to, I just want to, have some bonding time. Like, well, yeah, that's a big deal. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, or he had a foot thing. fetish. You know, it was whatever. his thing. <laughs> yeah, premeditated foot fetish. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, you got to do what you got to do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, Josh, how about you? Yeah, so uh, it's funny that you bring up Indian burial grounds, but I always had this imagination that uh, since we lived in a lot of houses that we did not build. Uh, that someone may have done a similar thing with our house. And so I always thought that there were things kind of lurking around in the corners in the darkness under the bed, inside of the shower, uh, anywhere where I was, anywhere in the house. Uh, and either uh, Indian barrel grounds or like um, uh, maybe uh, the cemetery with the pets, pet cemetery. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That is, yes. that is the one uh, with the pets. pets. <laughs> with the pets. <laughs> So I, I always thought they were out to get me in that way. Did, it did, was you, just, did, did you ever go to like the local library and try to like look up like, ooh, let me, let me put this address in and oh. search for like what happened here beforehand? Or are you just like, I'm, I'm just going to. I think you're imagining we were living in a place that had a library. <laughs> <laughs> okay. gotcha. how, how old was the house? Was it like, <laughs> yeah. was it like a, a recent build or was this? Was like this early like, 1900s. Oh, no, like, something yeah, like, it was this like creepier kind Indian of burial ground esque. Uh, old enough to be an in barrel ground, maybe. Okay. Not okay. not like new. Okay. Nice. Nice. All right. Well, Nate? Uh, I would just say mine is probably just, it, it really had nothing specific to do with my house, but I would just say the dark. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, when I was li- when I was little, I used to hate the dark. I had like night lights on night lights, like just in case one burnt out. I had to have like Aww. the second one Aww. at the ready, just in case. But the the reason for that is is that uh, I think, I don't know if it was the darkness or sleep. But when I would fall asleep, I used to sleepwalk a lot and yell in my sleep oh my uh, when I was a little kid. And so it was it was interesting. So every so often. I would wake up and I would be standing like in the bathroom and my mom would be like, hey, let's just go <laughs> back <laughs> over here. So the answer to this question for everyone else in your family is you. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And then for me, it was the dark. And then it was, it was, it was a cycle. Yeah. For whatever reason, oh Nate just keeps waking up and screaming bloody yeah, murder in the bathroom. Great. Don't know what that's about. Well, thank goodness it wasn't the It Comes at Night universe. Otherwise, yeah, we'd well, be having yeah, some uh, would, uh, serious discussions about you. <laughs> yeah, I would be the one with the disease. Right. <laughs> for sure. Uh, Lisa. Um, so there's a few things I'm trying to think, um, one thing that, that got me. So when I was a kid, I, I couldn't stomach car movies at all. I mean, even the covers, like I would saw the cover of Chucky. I saw the cover of gremlins and that, that was enough. I was, I was gremlins? Done. Yes. Because cute guys? I think it's gremlins two where he's in the high backed chair yes. and he, you see him like, you just see part of his hand, but it's like a creepy hand with the cigar and I, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. So I never watched them, but ki- other kids at school would watch them, and then they'd tell me about them. <coughs> so when The Shining came out on the TV miniseries, my friend at school, I don't know why I did this, I kept asking her, like, <laughs> she was watching them, like, oh, well, what happened last night on The Shining? Yeah. And we'd be staying in the lunch line, and she would tell me, I'd be like, oh, okay, that's interesting. So she told me about the scene with the lady who died in the De- bathtub. Decomposes. Yeah. yeah, she's in the bathtub and she's singing that creepy little song and she's all green and slimy and I never saw it, but it scared the heck out of me. So for them, for the longest time, um, in the house we lived in, we had a Jack and Jill restroom. So at night it was pitch black and if you want to get to my parents' room, you had to go through it. No way. I could not walk past a darkened tub. Even to this day, sort of, when I walk into our master restroom and there's just this dark, empty tub, I'm like, this is not good. <laughs> so, is yeah, that that always creeped me out. It was uh-huh. tubs. So you, you, <laughs> all, the, so sad, uh, tubs. all the shining tubs that were yes. in your place. Yes. All right. Okay, Jackie, how about you? <laughs> so I, I can't remember anything specific in my house that like scared me, but uh, but when uh when I was a kid, you know, we, uh, summer or whatnot, staying up late watching Nick at Night, I, I just thought it was hilarious. Now, not then, not then at all, <laughs> that like I'm watching shows like, you know, I Love Lucy, Bewitched, I Dream of Jeannie, and then it would go to commercial, and it would be like horror movie commercial. And it's the middle of the night, I'm the only one up, you know what I mean, or me yeah. and a friend, whatever, right? And it's pitch dark, and I'm like, no, I can't even, because I couldn't even, I, I don't like them today, the, yeah. the previews. And so like that just, that dichotomy of like, I Love Lucy next to horror movie doesn't really <laughs> it didn't like, quite work. it doesn't make sense to me. Like, oh, I know who's watching Nick at Night. They want to see a horror movie. <laughs> yeah. Done. It's like, past 11 p.m. Dick Van Dyke, Mary Tyler Moore, horror movie yeah. trailer. Dick I Van mean, Slice, I Love Lucy's <laughs> Organs. There you, you know, go. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. There you go. Nick at Night so, After Dark. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. So would you just mute it? Uh, yeah, or like turn it off and or change the channel for like thirty seconds and, then and come change back. it back. Yeah, yeah. you did. You just, I, I always had to make sure I was close to the remote. Yeah, because, right. Yeah, and it's before the days of DVR, so you had no the, choice. There was no, there was nothing I could you do. Just, you, yeah. just, you just look away until you hear, Wah, and then you knew you could turn around and it'd be safe. Well, no, but then the sounds, like that's even worse. That's man. oh, like, okay. You're saying you're not even the sounds. <laughs> yeah. Okay, got dude, it, got <laughs> that's just as bad. That's just as bad. Um, so these assholes have forced me to go to. Uh, uh, not a horror movie, but you know, one of them where the previews were all horror movies, and that, that's that's still bad. Even though I was watching Patricia's face um, with <laughs> watch the trailers, which was pretty great, but even though the sounds made it made it pretty awful because gotcha. your yeah. imagination runs away. exactly because yeah. uh, that's why I don't like them. I have an active imag- imagination, so my mind's you're, just gonna so go you're not like the mom. You're in this not movie. like the mom. <laughs> no, <Okay. laughs> not at got all. It. Got it. Uh, <laughs> right, Mitch, what do you got? So when I, w- I am the youngest child in my family, uh, my brother and sister are actually roughly nine ish years older than me. So I'm, I'm pretty good age gap. And my mom, uh, my brother and sister used to make me watch horror films all the time because that's what they wanted to watch. And they had to babysit me a lot and they weren't going to change their habits for me. Um, my mom really enjoyed crime shows, still does, you know, and all those like 2020 investigate, all that stuff. 
Growing up as an '80s kid, you know, and with this in this family, horror movies didn't bother me. Monsters don't bother me. I, I got a, like a little horror movie subscription that they actually had for kids. It was like all the different monster movies and all that. I was really yeah. into it. Really thought it was cool. Goosebumps. Or something. Yeah, go, well, Goosebumps yeah. was yeah the books, and then but they had I mean they had like stupid little like scary scary stories. I was reading Edgar Allan Poe. Really, you know. I was, I'm sure I was a, a cool kid you were back then. Poe? How yeah, old was, were you? <laughs> like, he's little. Basically, I read Edgar Allan Poe and Calvin and Hobbes. So I just <laughs> alternated. But the that's dynamic my, duo. That's for my, well, the trio, trio. to be fair. I mean, okay. one is an imaginary tiger, but that's not. <laughs> Splitting hairs uh, here. But as a child of the 80s, there was one TV, in the early 90s, there was one TV show yeah. that scared the bejesus out of me. Unsolved mysteries. Oh, <laughs> that stupid! I was intro. going Tales for the Crypt. I thought for Tales of the Crypt. Crypt for sure. No, right? I watched Tales. Shit, shit. I watched Tales of the Crypt and I loved it. I watched it. We watched it every uh, what Friday when it come on. Did you, did you not like Unsolved Mysteries because of the acting? Is that why? You <laughs> or what? It was the music. The music creeped me out more. But so at, growing up, even though my room was, I, I inherited my brother's room when he went to college, and it was upstairs in our two story house in Baton Rouge, and I just remember being terrified that someone was going to purposefully scale up this wall to come after me. So like every story that they were telling was going to happen to you. Well, to me. Be, yeah, that's yeah. real shit. Like Tales yeah. from the Crypt is not, you know, and they're not unsolved. Happen. So says you. But, uh. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I, and I, I feel like, I feel then what I feel now. I feel like most monsters, I know there's enough material out there. You know how to handle it. I don't know. I, you know like, wait, wait. Zombie, hit him in the head. Vampire, <laughs> right through the heart. I don't, you know, I mean, I'm not saying it'd be easy. I'm just saying I, I, there's, a there's a battle plan in yeah. place. Well, if there's someone coming after you, uh, run. I mean, you know, lock your window? I mean, <laughs> I don't know. These windows didn't have locks, I, I guess. Your window doesn't have locks? Oh, crap. I, Call for mom and walk downstairs? <laughs> mom was not, mom had to work early in the morning. Set up, she a, home, time to set up a home alone like booby trap on the window? Ooh, right. Yeah. See. Lots what of options here. Yeah. You know, I look, I realize it was irrational, but that's what scared me. <laughs> so, okay, so that was. <laughs> Who won well, that debate? <laughs> all of our nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> right. I guess it only wins if it's still bothering you. I don't yeah. know that I have that same fear anymore. So Tubbs. my cat's Tubbs. dead. So. <laughs> <laughs> I guess yeah. Patricia, so I you win. Yeah, one. Patricia. And we sold right. those houses. So <laughs> is the cat in a cemetery for pets? <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> All right. So that moves us on to our movie of the week, which this week is Housebound. Some things have happened since I've been here. Things I can't explain. Housebound is about Kylie Bucknell, uh, who's forced to return to the house she grew up in when the court places her on her home or places her in home detention. Her punishment is made all the more unbearable by the fact she has to live there with her mother Miriam, a well-intentioned blabbermouth who's convinced that the house is haunted. Kylie dismisses Miriam's superstitions as nothing more than a distraction from a life occupied by boiled vegetables and small town gossip. However, when she too becomes privy to unsettling whispers and strange bumps in the night, she begins to wonder whether she's inherited her overactive imagination or if the house is in fact possessed by a hostile spirit who's less than happy with the, with about the new living arrangement. Nate, what do you got for us on this sure, one? Sure, all right. So, this movie, this movie was 107 minutes, but it goes along pretty quick. Uh, it came out in 2014. And actually, the world premiere happened in Texas at in Austin and South by Southwest oh, wow. in March 2014. So that's a, that's a good tie back. Uh, the director is Gerard Johnstone, which is the most New Zealand name ever. Uh, he, this is his only movie he's ever done, even you know then and now. The only other work he's ever really done is kind of New Zealand TV. So... I don't even know how to recommend to see the rest of his catalog, but you can. Um, the main actress, Kylie, is uh, Morgana O'Reilly. Um, she's a New Zealand actress. She's in the Australian soap opera Neighbors um, and lots of small stuff. And I wrote down she was in a seven-minute short called Dr. Grord Bart Presents the Deadliest <laughs> Game. So if you want to check that out, uh, you can. Uh, on IMDb, this is a 6.8, and on Rotten, it is an astronomical 97% wow. uh, fresh. So the the critics liked it. So this is a so every every time in the stats section, we we ask everyone and kind of do a roundtable to guess um, how much do you think this movie costs to make in, in U.S. dollars? So I actually converted it from the New Zealand dollars, <laughs> but 
All right, all right. So, so Josh, how much well, do you how much do you think this movie cost to make in U.S. dollars? Let's we'll see who can get the closest there. Oh man, like so the whole budget for the movie one hundred fifty k. One hundred fifty k. All right. I don't sure. know. Most of the props were trash. <laughs> so they were donated, just like they yeah. said. In the movie, right? yeah. So I'm gonna go lower. I'm gonna say thirty nine thousand. Thirty nine thousand. That is right. such a specific number. <laughs> thirty nine. This, this is like Price is Right. This is not <laughs> Price is Right. I, must, I take that back. Yeah. This is not, not Price is right. right rules. Yeah. Um, that big old Jesus ain't cheap. So um, he's I'm, only three fourths regular size. <laughs> he, he was. So I'm price. I'm gonna say one point five million. Quick question. Is New Zealand money? Is it just um, what is the, what Peter is the Jackson's ratio? face printed on him at this point? Yes. <laughs> like is he sole well, responsible? Well, it's actually economy? Bilbo, but yeah, it, what it, is yeah. Bilbo? It's just, it's Bilbo. The exchange rate is not too bad, so it's not like okay. It's, it's not even. eight jillion New Zealand dollars is like three cents. It's not so, like that kind of level. I'll, I'll go one so and, and a half five? million. Okay, yeah. okay, it's probably high, but we got Jackie. Mm, Two hundred thousand. Two hundred thousand. Okay. I say Lisa. half a million. Half a million, and the winner is Jackie. Is two hundred fifty thousand. Dollars. Well done, Jack. Which is nice. that is not a lot no, at all. That's not not a lot. Lot. Now, <laughs> you think that's not a lot, but then here's the box office. It was a very limited run in the theaters for this movie, but the box office was two hundred twenty-three thousand dollars in New Zealand, four point five thousand dollars in Oman, and thirteen thousand dollars in the United Arab Emirates. Oh, sorry, um, oh. <laughs> yeah, this movie was released in three countries. The big in the three. Theaters. The big <laughs> three. Yes, the big three. UAE, Oman. If you can get New more Zealand. than four thousand dollars in Oman, you know you've hit it big. Which is what this movie did. Um, Every person in Oman saw it. <laughs> yes, that's, prob- that's probably right. Uh, How much is it to go to a movie in Oman? I don't know. No, maybe it's you, you just you just give them a gallon of oil and then you just go. Uh, the uh, <laughs> The uh, the the director uh, made this movie because he, he was literally inspired by a, like a ghost hunting show episode <laughs> that he saw on TV. He's like, you know what? I'm gonna make this movie called Housebound because I saw this terrible ghost hunting show. Um, and then I guess the the last thing about this is that I I read a couple things from from maybe 2015 2016 about the uh, about the U S like a U S version of this getting made, which is probably like one of the fastest you know. U.S. ruins a foreign movie turnaround that's ever been, but so far I haven't heard too much about it. So this that might be on the horizon, and that's kind of it. So, so there you go. can nice. I just say the past what two movies were like? I did not think their budget would have been five million. Like it comes at night, right? It was like what five million? Yeah, I think this this is this is amazing. Two hundred and fifty, and look what they did. So. I still say we could make our own horror movie. I think we could do it. Kickstarter. Well, certainly technology's improved since most of the 70s era horror movies we've been watching. It Comes at Night was now. Well, Airbnb's expensive. We, we, just <laughs> yeah, says, yeah. we don't need to keep getting into that. Uh, now, first, right off the bat, before we get into really the, the plot and it, or just what we want to talk about, uh, just in general, what did you think about it? So, uh, Jackie, I guess just general thoughts. <laughs> so th- th- this this should be like a... Like kind of like a smooth entry yeah. into a non horror fan because all the comedy that was in there, right? Is that did that kind of buffer it a little bit from the horror stuff, or was? Yeah, I mean, I felt like it was more of a thriller than a horror movie. You know, the comedy was there. There's horror elements, but then I actually liked that it was logical in the end, and it wasn't. There was no horror. It was more a thriller, right? Okay. Now, definitely, there was startling moments and whatnot, but. uh but yeah, so that that made me like it a little bit more than if it was actually fucking ghosts. So okay, gotcha. <laughs> All right, Josh, I, I think this movie uh, definitely holds up to the the comedy horror split. Right, every horror movie has a little bit of break in there. They kind of sneak in. Not it comes right? at night, but that's okay. But this one happens every few minutes, right? So it it really keeps it light. Nice. How about you, Patricia? I'm with Jackie. I uh, I liked that it wasn't really a ghost in the end, uh, or maybe some of us seem to think that maybe there was a ghost there, but uh, no, eh, no. no I I think I think it was Eugene. He just the whole had time. creepy, creepy fingernails. He did have creepy yeah. fingernails. <laughs> but yeah, I uh, I like I like the ones where it turns out something could actually happen. Those are the ones that stick with me. And you keep, really could have a guy living in yeah. your walls. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I mean, <laughs> as scary as <laughs> my walls are yeah. paper thin, so it's <laughs> unlikely, but there could definitely be some rodents. You know why they're paper thin? Be. Because someone hollowed them out and is living inside. <laughs> and they put Flat the Stanley. Stanley. <laughs> Flat yeah. Stanley. Flat Stanley. <laughs> <laughs> and they put all the electrical cords right behind the drywall, apparently, just FYI. Yeah. 
It's New Zealand. You know, what are, what are, the, what are the, like the nineteen, you know, what are the nineteen eighties, nineteen nineties building codes in New Zealand, right? I mean, that's a on. pretty big house for him to be able to carve out that that living space for himself too. Yeah, it was like spacious. Yeah, man. Yeah. I know they could they could put that on Airbnb. Lisa's, Lisa's like, I like it. Get, get ninety. Let's go back to that property question from last time. I'm gonna take this house, <laughs> right? Well, yeah. The, someone clearly didn't look at the uh, blueprint when they, you know, got the house. And they're like, oh, there's all this extra square footage we're not using somehow in our attic. Plenty of storage. That's right. <laughs> yeah, I, I I love this movie. I, I what I love most about this movie is the soundtrack and how. They use the score to help build in the tense moments and then totally kind of flip it on itself. Like the scene where they're doing the, he's got the, you know, the, the recorder and he's trying to get the ghost to respond and the, the music's kind of building up and they're doing like same kind of typical horror shots. I mean, you know, cheap kind of effect for a laugh, but in the end works out real well and they do it several points throughout the movie. Uh, it's a favorite. I, I really love this movie. Yeah. yeah, they do that a lot because even in the beginning, I felt it was like they, they, all this music would be like, oh my God, it's going to be so, and it would just be like a stare at the camera. <laughs> and then that would be it. And I was like, what's happening? And then, and then, her, and then Kylie's faces throughout right, the majority faces, yeah. of this movie are absurd. They were absurd. fantastic. They were, yeah. Yeah. N- none of them positive. None of these <laughs> no. looks were like, oh yeah, no. They're all like, ugh. No. What are you doing with your face? <laughs> what do you think, Nate? Oh, that was great. Uh, yeah, the first time I watched this, uh, it is. It's funny. Uh, the 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 one thing I wanted to point out is like, you know, from the very beginning in the title sequence where they try to they try to rob that ATM machine, right? You know, it's going to be ridiculous because the guy hits himself in the head with a sledgehammer <laughs> about thirty seconds into the movie, and then she has to drag him across, and then their car gets stuck. I mean, yeah, it's like you're like, all right, it, this is this is not going to be. You know, super. It's not going to be like it comes at night where everything's just like a dreadful intense. I mean, they're they're going to have some fun with it for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, figure we'll jump around. So, a question I want to ask is: Kylie literally the worst person? Oh, I wrote ever. this down. I wrote this down. I wrote this down. Kylie is a dick. That's like, the, that's like my like fifth line down of all of my notes. I, and I bet I can. Seriously. I bet I can tell when you wrote that. Was that when she's uh, working with um, the stepfather? You got to be more specific. She's a dick so many times. No, oh, no I think no, it's, it's when before she turned that. the volume up. Oh, uh, yes. yeah, turn the volume up when yes. you with that TV show. Yeah. Or her yeah. mom gets home and she's just like trashed the house essentially. Yeah. And she's like, fuck you, basically, to her. What? All right, counterpoint though. Kylie's the bitch you want when things go down. <laughs> That's right? true. Right? Yeah. She is always ready with a plan. Oh, no. Right? For sure. So her boyfriend hits, herself, hits himself in the face with a hammer. She's yeah. got dynamite. Okay? <laughs> she's got she's gonna And she up. drags him. And also, she drags him out. Yeah. Yeah, uh, she always Amos. goes back for Amos. The yeah, she would have left him, him by Amos, the way. Yeah, I would have left him. Okay, that's how she got herself in that situation Wait, you, the first you, time. You would have left uh, Pitbull if he left himself go. Was that what? What? I, I just in my notes I put this. The Amos is Pitbull if he let himself go a lot. Oh, oh. <laughs> maybe I don't. Apt <laughs> description. He's, but. he's Mr. Neighborhood Wide. No, but okay. So you know she's the one picking up the top of a truck or whatever that was <laughs> and putting it on him. Okay, she yeah. got, she's like getting a cheese grater. She, she's resourceful. She's, <laughs> I know. She's resourceful. resourceful. The cheese grater yeah. is my okay? favorite. If things yeah. go down, you want Kylie on your side, is what I'm saying. Okay, yeah. Very true. That's, that's very true. But I she's mean, a little bit of a dick. If you and never, never need con- to talk with her or anything, yeah, I'm in. But if <laughs> yeah. you need, uh, anything else, it's, it's problems. And yeah. another thing I learned, never commit a crime with Patricia, because she will leave your ass. <laughs> yeah. No yeah. matter like, yeah. I will absolutely leave every single one of you. <laughs> <laughs> well, also, though, she did kind of sacrifice him. She did cover him up with that piece of the truck, but he was just there. <laughs> in, a, in, a, in like a bear trap. <laughs> yeah. 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 And she's just like, mm, I'm going to go eat some dinner. <laughs> yeah, she never went back for him, right? <laughs> I know. We yeah. were he, like, did, he just got out. She did laundry or something. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She was doing laundry. Well, that's no, right. no, she hid. She hid. You know, well, that was after she after. felt bad for yeah. shanking. Uh, oh, right. She stabbed her stepdad. Okay, all right. Here's a question I have for everyone Name a character who doesn't get stabbed in this movie. The Miriam. Mom. Other than the mom. Well, Other than the well, mom. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because you oh, can't get anyone. Well, Other than that. Amos no one. doesn't get stabbed. He just gets hit in the head and then also trapped well, he, in a well, bear trap. Well, I guess he, he, technically trapped. he got stabbed by the trap. I mean, the, count that. Well, but that's not he, a stabbing. But when <laughs> it's the... Dennis hits him in the back with something. Is it an axe or... When he's yeah. like digging in the closet, which, by the way, he, the funny one, I mean, there's so many funny scenes, but when he grabs the knife from him and he's like, nah, this knife's too thin and throws it back. Yeah. 
That was that was good. That was good. The uh, I liked how the I I liked how when she was getting sentenced after that, the court system was just like, yeah, we're super efficient. It's like, oh yeah, yeah, thirty seconds and house arrest. <laughs> yeah. Like I wish our court system worked like right. that. It I know. So I don't much know why easier. we don't do house arrest more. Is budgeting an effective uh, rehabilitation method? Like learning yeah. budget <laughs> and, and cooking and, and cleaning. Don't I mean because you can cook meth. She has a drug problem. Right. <laughs> I think she knows how to cook. I think that's not the issue. <laughs> does she? Well, she, all, all she does is destroy meatloaf. That's all, that's all <laughs> that we've seen her eat. She, does a speci- she only knows one recipe, <laughs> yeah. and it's for meth. This is, <laughs> her recipe is this. And that's it. And she knows how to open beer, so that's about you it. Really, I, I hope that makes it onto the cut. When I <laughs> it just totally doesn't pass the threshold. Yeah. So, uh, all right. So she gets convicted to go stay with her, her mom. Uh, has to return to her house and most awkward dinner t- conversation. <laughs> yeah, they are not friendly. <laughs> no. And then, and then, how would you feel? You're, you're okay. So you are Kylie. Maybe you're a dick. Maybe you're not. In this case, you you decide. But you then hear your mom call a radio talk show, <laughs> talking about how your house is haunted yeah. and. The psychic hotline. Yeah, I was like, this is like, uh, this is like New Zealand version of Siblings in Seattle. <laughs> like, it's a call. Uh, that's how I put in my notes. I mean, yeah. it was an important call. She had to make it, right? Yeah. yeah. She's like, uh, no, <laughs> you don't get to make any calls until I talk about the ghost that lives in our house. It's just total strangers. No, but to be fair, it's 2014, and they have one phone on the yeah. wall. Yeah, oh, but they also it? have dial-up. So yeah. Yeah. yeah, but phones. I mean. <laughs> Well, I think I mean, we, I think we graduated phone. from phones on the wall before, you know, long before dial-up came around. Well, clearly not, not in this part of New Zealand. Yeah, not in the <laughs> rural, bad. the rural New Zealand. Cell South, phones South don't Island exist. New Zealand, yeah. Let's not forget about the Motorola Razor that's somewhere in this house that still has yet to be found. <laughs> never could find it. That also, by Hello, the way, Moto. subtitles labeled as a toy. <laughs> yeah, right. A toy, yeah. Yeah, um, it's not a real phone. So I, I, get, I get it. I get it. Yeah, yeah the sure. subtitles. Even the subtitles were confused about the phone's a yeah. whereabouts, what it was, <laughs> and, and what it was saying. What the it was, it was, was mortar? Was. Right? Yeah. Hello, mortar. Hello, mortar. Yeah. Hello, mortar. <laughs> Hello, yeah. Mortar. <laughs> Mordor? yeah. Well, New Zealand. Oh, see. Yeah, oh, yeah, there, you all yeah. there you go. There you go. So, uh, okay. So she's at the house. She's hearing all these noises while she's using the bathroom. Um, which we can say he was spying on her while she was. Right. Oh yeah. gosh, I hadn't even thought about that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, we didn't. We He's didn't a little see pervy. The, we didn't see the picture he drew of that. <laughs> which is probably for the best. Speaking of, she has some excellent muscles. <laughs> that was impressive. How the she was able to oh. start and stop <laughs> on demand. Love little to the imagination. <laughs> yeah. yeah, great control. Great, great yeah. control. Uh, agreed. Very yeah. strong pelvic floor. <laughs> Again, stronger than, stronger than the walls of this house. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Movie, for sure. Yeah. The person you want in a crisis. Okay. She's yeah, prepared that's true. For yeah, she, <laughs> she's prepared to stop. She can do it all. She needs to. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, <laughs> so, so her her connection to the outside world. I wrote this down. Is it? It is a soft tech two thousand operating system computer. <laughs> Which I don't know. I just wrote down what, <laughs> which exploded. Soft tech. Yeah. I don't even. Um, yeah. could, that must have yeah. been the computer they used at the start of the Lord of the Rings, and they just gave it to everyone. The yeah, where they were sure. Like, we no like, longer need these. Yeah, it was it was rough. And then, of course, the computer shorted. I'm assuming it was Eugene related, but at yes. the time in the yeah. movie, you don't necessarily know that, oh, right? But yeah, true. exactly. Yeah. yeah, I'm assuming it was Eugene yeah. related, but yeah, it was, ugh, it was nuts. So once again, this movie reminds us, which is a recurring theme of this podcast, Basements are the worst. The best. <laughs> the, the worst. worst. The best. Um, it was 100% rock. Whatever. <laughs> is that a selling point? I don't know, but it was 100% it's not like rock. It kept cutting off the signal to her. I think it kept cutting off the signal to her ankle bracelet. That's is that because it was like solid? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So instead of cutting it off, she could have just gone into the basement. <laughs> True. Yeah. True. But I, my question is it's been 20 years. Miriam doesn't, has never questioned. <laughs> Why are the, all these medical <laughs> records in my in the house? Oh, it's a B and B, huh? She's really nosy and gossipy about other people's lives, but like my basement, that she kept to, that she kept to herself. Yeah. Uh, not to mention the like eight foot tall Jesus that just sits back there. It's not eight foot tall. It's like five and a half. It, it's, tall. It's, it's three quarter. It's three quarter. Well, when, it, when it's perched up as high as it was, <laughs> yeah. unless Kylie's supposed to be like. 
four foot nothing. Well, the, it was so, so the mom, monstrous. The mom knew that this place was uh, like a halfway home for troubled you know, teens. Yeah, her cover story was B and B, which I feel like she could have come up with a better cover. Yeah, story. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. But, but even I mean, if you're gonna have a cover story, why are you keeping all the the? Get rid of the medical records. Yeah. yeah. It well, I actually sense. think this whole movie is a testament to tidiness, right? <laughs> yes. Nothing would yes. have happened if they had just been yeah. slightly they, tidy. In the multiple houses that yeah. they were in. Yeah. Like, told what? you this is perfect for hoarders. Well, and, well, and that's what I was, you know, based on what you told us during the facts, this show is clearly this guy just watched a whole bunch of TLC and was like, yeah. Oh, let me switch between Ghost Hunters <laughs> New Zealand hoarders. and Hoarders. And <laughs> oh, look, here's my movie. The exact same two yeah. shows. They're literally missing a underage pregnant girl yeah. for or my strange addiction or, or something. Yeah. I'm just saying. I mean, well, that was the mess. That was oh, <laughs> or Eugene or yeah. Eugene or Eugene. Yeah, Eugene yeah. Is his obsession true. with the electronics. That, that, that sophisticated yeah. Oman movie going audience will <laughs> yeah. not. You got you got to mix it up. I mean, they, they've seen everything. Maybe right? you that's where the fridge full genres. of aborted fetuses came from. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes, maybe that was yeah. never well, referred to again. They just yeah. They just brought that up, and then they they made it a point to say no. She couldn't have just made that up, she but then they never the discussed it again for the rest of the movie. Yeah, well, Amos yeah. just leaves it alone. He's like, oh, okay, that's cool. Well, to be fair, <laughs> would you go mess with it? Like, oh, let me go check on that. But like, well, no. where did he get Broke them? into the house though. But where then, did he get them? But if you're <laughs> suspicious of somebody and they come outside and they say, okay, you think I'm a murderer, but follow me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now no, go like, ahead and get in this crawl space. The... No worries. Yeah, that was now. Okay, so so we we meet uh, after she's there. We meet Dennis, right? Who's the, the worst? The psychology guy, you know, the therapist guy. Yeah. Is that what you call the it? psychology <laughs> guy? Uh, the therapist guy who's supposed to work with her, right, through her issues while she's under house arrest. Again, right? Great system. Does this happen in the U.S.? <laughs> Never. <No. All> right. <laughs> even though you know, hey, even though the guy's not the best, at least he's someone. I, I, <laughs> I wrote. I'm pretty sure she would have been better off without him. Though. I wrote. I wrote. There's a hundred percent chance this guy tried out for Lord of the Rings and did not make it. <laughs> because you see this guy's face; he looks very Hobbit. Yeah, he yeah. does. Or maybe he was, and I didn't see him. But I, I guarantee you, he tried too. out. It's it's well, that hair. Yes. Yeah, the curly hair is. Yeah, is very he even growing that out for the Bilbo role mm-hmm. and. You didn't get it. Yeah, it's oh, better than what I thought. I thought, oh, crap, we're going to get a budgeting one-on-one lesson from this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I actually thought they That's were the true. same person for a while. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. I could not tell White the people all look alike. You're, you're, right. you're, you're Zealandist. <laughs> you're a little Zealandist, bit. wow. No, the, uh, during, that, during that first uh, interview with the therapist, she says, quote, my mom's a fucking dick. Mm-hmm. And about Graham, her stepfather, he's a cabbage in a polo fleece. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then I did, a, and then I wrote, "That's what she said." Next to the last quote, I'm giving you two more minutes, and then I'm turning the TV on. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it did not start well with the therapist uh, no, during her uh, house arrest, for sure. Although, you know what? Let's ask. At the end of the movie, she's fine. She's yeah. getting the ankle brace off without the therapist. Well, but if it weren't for the therapist trying, you know. Yeah. No. The he he brought reason, up the concepts. The only reason she, she reformed is because she stabbed her stepfather and felt terrible about it. <laughs> yeah. That's <laughs> true. After that, yeah. she had like. Uh, she, she started on the path, but she was looking at the outreach of. Uh, you know, the, correspo- the correspondent, correspondent. Well, and that yeah. brought her to that's the tap dance, the, the <laughs> one of the more impressive tap dance routines. Now, can, I've yeah. seen that was never time. referred to again either. Yeah, no. <laughs> can any of you guys fit in your tap dancing shoes from when you were a child still? Because that seemed like that was a bit of a reach. <laughs> Maybe it was a teenage years. You never know. She, okay. she tapped okay. pretty well. Okay. Okay. She okay. didn't do four year old tap dancing. She did like. Oh, it was the house of well, you know, maybe, so maybe she, they just had all the sizes. Oh, oh. halfway. It, it, it was it was for, it was from one of the murdered kids. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and then and then she, she didn't question it. She, she just, just happened to. Know but she somehow just assimilated the knowledge. I like to I think know. that she got expelled from her school because she just. Her feet grew before the rest of her, and so everyone just gave her so much trouble, and that's what set her on this path of yeah. destruction. Well, she did punch her mom in the face we learned later, yeah, which is a, yeah. which if, so it goes back to that she's a dick. Like, yeah, she, yeah. Well, yeah, and I guess in my case, it would have been better for her to kick her mom because obviously she would have had more of a wingspan with the feet. To, right. Yeah, yeah. I, I wish we could have seen that picture that he drew of that. By the way, oh, yeah, right. the, yeah. the only picture they didn't show was the punching picture, the yeah. good action this shot. Is you punching your mom? Yeah, well, I'll get, I'll get you. We sitting, got, I'll get you, you sitting in the tub, tub shot, but no yeah. problem. Yeah. But yeah, and then, and or this then, is your ass up in the air while you're trying to get something. So out the I, I did a little more research here. So Coronation Street, which was the the kind oh, of the yeah. soap opera that the mom wanted to watch, and yeah. then, again, is it a British one? 
No, it, it's New Zealand. It's, oh, it yeah, is. Every, everything, everything is very New Zealand about this movie. The 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 daughter again, Dick Dickish move is like, no, nah, I'm not going to give that up. Uh, this show is currently on Thursday nights at 9:30 p.m., Friday nights at 9:40 p.m., and Saturday night at 9:25 p.m. <laughs> Right now, is it, is it like a soap opera? Wow. Yeah. Okay. But I don't That's know fantastic. what the schedule is. is. I, I don't know. I tried to watch an episode. They told me sign up for something. I was like, I'm not. I'm not that invested. But uh, yeah, I was like, this is happening. This is a real thing. So yeah. Just wow. FYI, any uh, soap opera fans? Maybe it's a like, cultural <laughs> phenomenon. Who knows? It could be. Who knows? You know, was anyone else really surprised by the fact that she was some sort of drug addict but needed absolutely no recovery time whatsoever? <laughs> She went straight from in court. Stone cold house. sober. She Stone went. Cold sober. She drank beer. Maybe that was her dulling. Maybe the, that the pain kind of thing. But yeah, yeah, yeah. There was no. no. There was no uh, like rehab needed. I don't, it was. In weird. fact, he said it. The judge said it. He said, "Well, she's been through rehab before. What she needs, yeah. is home." Now she said she faked being bipolar to get the, the, yeah. medicine, <laughs> which I guess was she abused then, right? That was. But that's the, what all the, the kids do. <laughs> Yeah. Everybody does it. Everyone does it. It's like, oh, my eyes hurt. I gotta get weed in California. Is that like the strategy? I don't know. Maybe. Um. So okay. So let's talk to one about one of my favorite scenes: the uh, Teddy Ruxpin from Hell. Um, yeah. There, there's parts of this movie that don't real like. They want you just not to ask too many questions. Really think about it because, first off, this bear shows up. Right next to her bed and yeah. starts talking. I'm assuming her old toy, right? Yeah. From Which, when she's with a fabulous pompadour, yeah. by the way. <laughs> right. This toy, this toy did not age a bit. Yeah. No. Pristine condition. So then she shoves it straight in the fire, not messing around with it. Well, first she's choking it. Yeah, she punched it. She punched it. She's she hits choking his, she hits it. She hits head it. in a drawer. Yeah. yeah. And then she throws it in the fire. And then this damn thing shows up in the shower. And I get that Eugene somehow got it out, but... I then also don't because they watch the video. There's no evidence that the bear was somehow pulled out. And I don't, I, I mean, I don't know if this, yeah, but he's got secret passages, but they could he behind could the fireplace. Yeah, why not? I feel he like the, the foundation of this house is trap doors. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah, worse than that. Uh, that Chicago hotel one with all the different trap doors. Yeah. Like, it's a two story house. And yet he's watching them through the ceiling of the first floor. How much <laughs> gap is in the, in yeah. The <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I, I don't know. This is my favorite scene, though. This that that bear is just perfectly creepy. Um, to be fair, he knows a lot about electronics, so maybe he fixed, fixed it. the oh, tape. Oh, he grabbed it out of the fire with a trap door, fixed it, and then brought it back. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know. I think that was his intention because he wanted her to hear the actual tape that was inside the doll. But right, yeah, yeah. But then, okay, so that then kind of leads us to the next part where it's the. Um, I think where they have the come to Jesus with all, everyone. You mean Jesus comes to you? Well, <laughs> not the actual Jesus in the, in the not movie. the actual Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. No, but so they're they're she's saying she needs to leave. She's kind of buying into this place is crazy. Um, the lights go off, and then the uh, Dennis. Dennis gets attacked. Which I, I got again have. stabbed. Everyone in this movie gets stabbed at least once, <laughs> yeah. but like stabbed to the hand. You kind of figure like a coat hanger. Or yeah. Something. If, yeah, if you know this is like the 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 villain, you know. Time you can just end it here. Done. Roll credits. Boom. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I. I don't know. I. I think. I think. I think we're cr we're criminally underrepresenting Amos in, in this conversation so far because I. Amos is probably my favorite character in this show. <laughs> Security guard slash. Ghost hunter. Clubber <laughs> slash paranormalist. Okay, so let's let's move to the heist then. So Amos is you know his attempt to try to figure out this yeah. this um. Piece Fat New find. Zealand Pitbull. Yes. Fat New Zealand. <laughs> I, I know you keep saying Amos. Now I keep one call. Let's <laughs> call him Pitbull. For the rest All right. Of the podcast, we'll, we'll, we'll do that. All right. So uh, later on, they at least try to go and check out this dent, uh, this denture. Piece. Which most awkward scene in the entire movie, <laughs> her trying to pull those dentures out of that guy. Yeah. She was so surprised when he woke up from her <laughs> yeah. aggressively Small digging right hand in, his mouth. in that <laughs> mouth. Yeah. For a security Such guard, this guy is. Like, this guy's ready to break the law pretty quick. I mean, it only yeah. took about 30 seconds to yeah. convince this guy, hey, I'm going to go break into this guy's house. You want to cover for me? He's but like, to be yeah, fair, sure. you never fucking break into the house of the suspect of who you think is the murderer. 
In this case, it worked out fine because he wasn't. I mean, <laughs> I'm just saying. Ky- Kylie, Kylie's not known for her, uh, her, uh, you know, s- subtle, subtle thinking. She's yeah. just like, oh, there's a guy. Let me just grab into his mouth real quick and see what happens. <laughs> I still Valid. question the, the reasoning behind uh, why they wore all black to break into someone's house in the daytime. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes, I wrote that. I wrote that down as well. And she needed the hoodie and, too. Don't and you? Then don't. Amos wore the windbreaker. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you just need your own soundtrack in your life. Yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah. I, I wrote I wrote down this guy is a redneck white walker when he <laughs> was then chasing them. Because he looked like he could be an extra white walker for sure. Um oh man. Yeah. The uh geez. the the best part of that scene was when was that was that the scene where Amos, you know, she's because she always talks shit to everybody, right, Kylie? She's talking shit. She's making fun of everybody. And then he just slaps her in the face. Was that, yeah. was that, that was right it? before? Yes. I think, right before yeah. to go? Oh, God. Because before she finds the denture and yeah. leaves yeah. her on this because uh, she's saying, you know, someone needs your help. I was yeah. like, I was clapping. I was clapping during this part. Like, finally, someone is slapping those girls. Yeah, great. Amos is, Amos did more to rehabilitate her than anything else in this movie. Easy with that one slap. Just no, go back. <laughs> Yeah, the uh, I, I guess we skipped a part. So, did any of you guys when the Jesus thing fell on her in in the basement? Right? Mm-hmm. Did you guys did you guys jump during that? Was that a jumping? Probably. A little bit because there was yeah. you, you saw the thing right, and then all of a sudden it was oh, I mean, I, I was wondering like what or what were the parts of this movie that you guys did jump? How about that? Like the la- I mean, I, I'd say the most jumping that I did was like in the last. 15 minutes where they're like running around being chased by. Him. Okay. All right. Yeah. So the chase scene. Okay. What about, what about you guys? Yeah. I, I think the same during the, the Jesus falling moment. I think we were suspicious as to why the, the mom had <laughs> kept ghost shaped things in her basement after having seen a ghost. Yeah. We just thought that the logic behind that was <laughs> yeah, I mean. questionable. Which yeah. is, is that Jesus scary enough that she had to keep it covered? Like every time she walked down there, it yeah. startled yeah. her. I can't keep looking. He at literally Jesus came down off the cross. Yeah. 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 Literally. No, I, I think the best part about the Jesus thing was that she literally screamed Jesus. Yeah. Oh, nice. I didn't catch that. That's awesome. Jesus. <laughs> No, I think there, there's one part where, you know, they always do that thing where you turn around and someone's standing right there. That always makes me startled. And someone just well, sneaks up behind you because the mom like snuck up right behind her in the basement. And yeah. well, oh, they had yeah. the Jesus falling thing and then the, the arms grabbing yeah. from underneath. That like, the, was that was. The, yeah, the, you know, that was creepy. The cupboard thing or whatever. Or when the when the when Dennis was there and the lights were going on and off and yeah. suddenly you see the the thing CG, standing right there. Yeah. With yeah. The, yeah. That, the sheet yeah. on. In his hiding place. <laughs> but, but, but like the, the which, jo- he, which he came out to murder or try and hurt Dennis, but he can't come out to take a shower? No. I guess not. I guess that's not high on the priority. That's too much. Is he still verbal? Like, I'm not even no. kidding. The man has been living in a wall for like... He's been watching TV. He's watching TV. <laughs> oh, yeah. okay. And he's listening right. to the conversation. With headphones on. Mm. He's been hearing the mom use, uh, you know, the hip new words like, oh, that's Flash. Or whatever <laughs> oh. she said about like the new phone. Like, that, what? That might be a New Zealand thing. Yeah, I, that I'm might just, be a New Zealand thing. That's true. Uh, he totally looks like Mar from Home Alone. <laughs> Doesn't he? Like he's yeah, with all the ash and yeah, with all yeah. the ash and the hair, hair yeah. straight up in the air. yeah. So so then so then you know uh, eventually you know she figures out hey this there's this guy Eugene who who lives in the house right and she goes out about f- trying to find him and they haven't found this guy in what twenty years or something right and <laughs> yeah. she finds him in about eh, five minutes max. I mean that's literally all the time it took. Yep. Well, she knew where to look this time. I. I at the second in the house, house that you've been living house. in, I yeah. mean, I don't know. Uh, it seemed well, like, no, she she found she Eugene, found she didn't find vacuum. Eugene till later. I don't think, oh, right? Because right, right, it was right. when the vacuum cleared out, and then she yeah, realized. Well, what I'm saying is, when she ended up finding him, I mean, you've been in this house for multiple decades. Oh yeah, and then, no one has done anything. Then she knew all the secret. Yeah. yeah, he had yeah, no yeah, security yeah. system set up on his lair. <laughs> and so I guess this is my question for you guys: How big is this house? It's huge. I mean, what is the square footage of this house? Is this like mansion well, you level? Was it Dennis that told her? He goes, "Oh, it must be so nice to be housebound here because you got all this room." So yeah, it was. I I got the feeling it was pretty big. They had the basement. They had the attic crawl space that Eugene had like cleared Do you out for himself. The basement. They yeah, had basement. Yeah, of course. huge like square footage in between the walls. Yeah, just like walking space. So so, so maybe the house just like seems smaller because like ninety percent of the space in the house was between the walls that were <laughs> yeah. in the room. Yeah, yeah. well, maybe the rest of it was filled with garbage. <laughs> yeah. right? That's okay. true. The toys okay. from a thousand children. So <laughs> if they would have cleared out all the files about all the troubled children who had lived there, clean then, your house, and I guess got rid of some of the relics of the people who had been murdered there as well. Yeah. Maybe they would have more space. I mean, I get that. Yeah. 
I think though the house was like semi multi-dimensional too, because when she was trying to put the vacuum away, she kind of fell in and then she was kind of running away from Eugene and then fell down and then magically popped yeah, out. Back I know. In the yeah, kitchen. it just seems like, just like, oh, I'm back on the same floor. No big deal. Yeah, this house just keeps going. I don't know. So there's yeah, some like sort a of like mystical element there. Yeah, I, I agree. I, I don't know. This house doesn't make any sense architecturally whatsoever. There's just no. hidden hidden spaces. No. Doesn't make any. I mean, great for hide and seek if you're kids. Although, over under, we'll do a quick round table of this. Over under, if someone lights a match and drops it in the basement, how quick, how quick is this thing just all going up? Oh, it's gone. I mean, I say 15 seconds over under. Yeah. What do you got? The basement, maybe not because it was stone, but once it hits that wood, because that whole house was wood, it just... Wood and well, trash. Well, yeah. 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 <laughs> like dry the, trash. The, the pre-made kindling of folders of people's files, yeah, yeah. probably helps the Aged whole situation. Paper. Also, yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, And then paper. the bookshelf of all those books. All the books, yeah. 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 Also, oh. mad scientist Eugene tinkering with electronics, how <laughs> nothing has short... Sh- you know, short well, it was all the or, time. They were getting constant power things and going back down to the break. I'm just saying how it like, hasn't set on fire up to this point. I'm assuming yeah. he broke the furnace. <laughs> I'm assuming, right? That's right. Yeah, well, that's probably. almost what gave him away, right? As he was, uh, he was increasing their power bill. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Throw to the fact that she had a ghost. Our power bill goes up and down. You know, you, guys you know when, you, when you blame a ghost for your power bill going up, you know, the classic, the classic thing. That thing's moving or whatever. No, my power bill's going up. I'm sure up. the power company hears that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the Sunshine Grove discovery, when she finally kind of realizes, yeah, this was a, what this was, and it yeah. wasn't a B and B like her mom has been telling her, but in fact a halfway home where a girl got shanked with. Oh, a, I, thought, I thought it was breaking, breaking and battered, not breaking and entering. Break, oh God. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna scratch. Hold on, let me scratch this off my notes real quick. <laughs> right, yeah. yeah, that one's not not making the final cut. No. Um, Which thank goodness that the dial up finally worked for that Google search. Well, no, what no, was Ask, Ask Jeeves? Ask Jeeves. Oh, yeah. Ask Jeeves. Jeeves. How much do you think they paid for product placement? <laughs> How much did Ask Jeeves pay this movie to use? Ask Jeeves. That's They're coming more back. The on, on the two hundred fifty thousand they needed to make this movie, yeah. five dollars. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> um, no, but some of the some of the notes in these kids' files are were just incredible. Uh, one yeah. was like, "What's paranoid?" and then asthma. Yeah, <laughs> yes. paranoid, schizophrenic, asthma. Another it, so one had diabetes. What, what, was the asthma schizophrenic, or just, the, or was the kids schizophrenic? <laughs> exactly. Question. We who, don't know. We don't who know. Knows? Who the other knows? was alcohol abuse, uh, diabetes, and yeah. stigmatism. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're just, I, I mean, at this point, they're just listing things. It sounds like it's more of like a bingo, like word yeah. search than it <laughs> yeah, is. Yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, and some of these kids' pictures, first off, that one poor dude, clearly. The, the first one, the first picture, right? Yeah. No, 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 the, the second, second picture. picture. Oh, no, the second one. The but second his eyes were like eyes. super close <laughs> yeah. together. And like, I don't know, those were crazy. <laughs> like, <laughs> and then, let's be real, Lizzie looks straight up like a murderer. That was the worst mug shot. She was a, a klepto, though. She was a klepto. She wasn't a murderer. Clearly, but yeah. It just, yeah. Which I did like how she was, Kylie was watching an Antique Roadshow earlier in the movie about that specific pocket watch, and then she found it later. And Amos was like, this can't be worth more than like 100 bucks. She's like, no, it's actually worth quite a bit. It's this, that, and it's like named all the specifics of it. It was a good throwback. Well, yeah, she's probably like, she's probably pawned a lot of things yeah, that she's that's stolen. True. That's why past, it's, it's so important to watch QVC. Yes. <laughs> Just, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Broad, broad in your world. Um, so she finds this out. No one believes her. Uh, no one believes her that the next door neighbor is potentially the killer. Well, a- Amos believes her. Kind or that, of. And, that and, and, and that and that Eugene lives in the wall because they still think it's Eugene at this point. Yeah. Sure. Um, let me tell you. The person that we don't see, and I wish we could have seen their house, was the dentist in this town. Because all these people have some <laughs> sort of missing teeth, denture yeah. work that's very similar, first off. Very rare you're going to find someone with the exact same dental issue. Uh, <laughs> but everyone yeah. had a dental plate in this movie. Yeah. Everyone, yeah. everyone did. did. Yeah. And in fact, the mom even said, everyone has dental plates. It's not that big of a deal. <laughs> yeah. They need some fluoride in their water. Yeah. That's what they yeah. need. This dentist is... Yeah, this is doing he's got to be... He's got to be made. It, you he, know. Ha- he has a house that's the same size as this house, but only 10% is between the walls. <laughs> so then he's, it, look, it's huge. It's actually a huge house. Yeah, it's crazy. But yeah, so no one, no one believes her, and then it finally turns out that you find out it's yeah. been... Eugene's there. Dennis, all that. Well, uh, well, the dentist that is 
the one who the oh, you mean the, the, the therapist. Yeah, yeah the therapist. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Not dentist, Dennis. 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 Yeah. Dennis. Who needs a dentist? <laughs> yes. Uh and then we give what I've just written in my notes as the great defense. Uh you can't say enough about Kylie except that she is super prepared. She knows what I mean, I you think you said it earlier. She's super practical. She's the one you want. She's got a cheese grater <laughs> on one hand, yeah. a knife in the other. It's like best things around the house to use to defend yourself, yeah. right? Yeah. There's so many. Well, like normally people get like a trash Close can basket. lid or a pot like, lid. No, she's like arming. The, I mean, she's well, arming literally. Yeah. You know, well, one of the first times that that, that Amos comes back in, she gets a, a was it like a cane or something from Cameroon? And, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Cameroon. And she beats the shit out of him. I mean, he, yeah. she hits this guy. I mean, if he wasn't if he wasn't fat pitbull. He probably would have got hurt, but yeah. I mean, he didn't seem like he was fine. But she hit him about I mean, six or seven times. Yeah, she, yeah. she was she, she, that ass. She, she yeah. was committed. She yeah. used that roof tile. I think it was to those pajamas. I, I think the pajamas protected him. <laughs> no, but the pajamas the protected him. Also, I love the mom in that scene because she's just so like matter of fact. Like I can't stay like this, Kylie. My yeah, knees. My knees. Yeah. <laughs> it's like don't use that. Uncle so and so brought that yeah. from Cameroon. It's really from Cameroon. Yeah, like, that's why we mom, stored it in the basement. There might be a murderer. Like, like if, I, if I don't die right now, my quality of life will be terrible <laughs> after this. All right, so you gotta <laughs> give me some slack here yeah that, that was awesome yeah. the yeah the last the last section of this movie was awesome um i thought really good use of again a cheese grater and the she uses she the cheese grater yeah. she graded his yeah, face yeah not two seconds before that happened jackie leaned over me and goes, yeah, there was... she just grade him and then <laughs> yep there she goes there's a lot of macgyvering happening <laughs> yeah. in this yeah. movie now it was that i think purpose. about it yeah it the purpose. laundry basket i mean everybody oh like, god yeah, that was, that we was need well that. done no. When the mom covers the guy in the laundry basket <laughs> to save them, and then the laundry basket hits the door and like fly, like flies him back or like a rubber band. That was pretty great. Yeah. That was it great, was the yeah. one good move on the mom's part because other than that, she was now, pretty useless. Well, she yeah. was in the corner just like watching her daughter like almost get stabbed to death, except for the you know. Now, now in the key in the key moment, so so then, you know, she finds Eugene. Uh, she comes back. She's like, oh my god, this guy's in the house. No one believes her. He boards up the the passages from the inside, which was super smart. Right. And then no one believes her. And they're like, yeah, you're insane. We're going to have to like put you away. Conveniently. Then the dentures come back into play. Right. Right. He, he, un- he undentures on a cookie. Right. <laughs> yeah. And everyone else is eating just fine. Is that, is that normal for someone to just pop no, them out? I'm assuming he's had like, them for quite some time because <laughs> 20 years ago, he bit and stabbed someone to death and had dentures, right? You would think he would know how to use these things. But, but. you notice that he avoided it earlier because when Kylie was like trying to cause a disruption, her mom came in with a plate of cookies and she she threw them on the ground. So if, if that had played out, she would have known much earlier who the killer oh, was. Okay. okay. Mm-hmm. Point. She's her yeah. worst enemy. Well. And then she's like, oh, I see I see dentures on this guy. Let me go, you know, go away from that guy. Figure out a plan. Come back. The cops who are, oh, man. But who's, still- what, these cops are, who, who, which is more incompetent? Like, the Amityville horror cops were just lazy. Okay? They were just lazy. I these they- cops are more incompetent. Yeah. Right? I mean. Like, it was still on. the hold, best, hold though. I, I, you put it in the cupboard. <laughs> what happened next? I don't know. I don't know. When, when she goes, you know, she drives all the way there to, yeah. try to tell her, report. please, yeah. please come. There's a murderer, and, essentially. And these cops are, I wrote, these cops are sexist because this lady is telling, hey, uh, there's someone in my house. And then the security guy comes and goes, hey, there's someone in the house. And they go, oh, we're on there. Like, wait, what? <laughs> we listen to this woman talk for about, you know, 15 just, minutes, probably. And then the guy comes, oh, let's, let's go. Let's, let's go. go do that. Yeah. And then Se- at the same sexist. time, as soon as they get there. They don't find him, and he just disappears. Yeah, this As guy. He never he was, even brought he him like, there. You don't hear the hammering from the inside closing up all of the little. You know. Well, and then they start quizzing her about her menstrual cycle. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. you know, doubling more recent down. than usual. <laughs> multiple personalities. <laughs> doubling down on that. Well, sexism. yes, but the mom didn't really disagree so much. I mean, she was kind of like, oh, yeah, well, I mean, she got punched in the face by this daughter. I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah. wow. And the daughter in the very beginning threw out like a maybe you have dementia. <laughs> just as a throwaway line like holy shit <laughs> they're is, finding cures for it every day I, they are I hope so but yeah I, mean, I, I get it why she's not exactly you know endeared uh, to her daughter no. at this point but I think the best defense was when she sent her mom back in. She's like, stall him. I don't know how to stall him. No, do what you do best, mom. Go in there and <laughs> gossip for as hard long that as everyone you can. hates. <laughs> Done. <laughs> All right, so that brings us really to the end. I want to go around and do kind of a last thoughts in case there was any other plot points we missed. 
Um, I think we covered most of the movie, but Nate will. Sure. Well, I mean, okay. So then I guess the end is, you know, the, the, uh, the, the, the psychology guy <laughs> slash therapist <laughs> mm-hmm. is, is the murderer. He, he murdered her a long time ago. He had worked at the sunshine place, Grove. sunshine Grove, right? Thank yeah. you. Mm-hmm. And then he's chasing them around the house with a variety of weaponry. He has a buzz saw at one point. Ken does his own little shining impersonation. He does with safety goggles. With, with yeah. safety goggles, yeah. that that was actually safety impressive. Yeah. Hey, this guy is safety first. Uh, I know. Uh, chases him up to the roof. Um, stabs Eugene. She actually breaks off a tile again. Very yeah. resourceful, Patricia. Yeah. Breaks off a tile from the roof and throws it at his face. Hits him <laughs> square in the face. He falls off. I guess I don't. I thought this house would be about you know four stories tall, depending on how many you know different like levels people have fallen through throughout the movie, but apparently he survives and then he gets, he gets a, uh, what was it? It was like a meat for like a meat for Well, thing, because I that's the same one that exactly. You know, he, bring, the yeah, with he stabbed the woman 60 circle. times, hits him with the meat for Hold on. And I, and I need to write, I need to show exactly. Uh, I, I wrote, you know, the old electric shock face stab head explosion gets him every time <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> because this guy's head then literally explodes. And then, of course, after all that, then everyone believes her. And then she's a totally normal you know, human being. So no. and serves out the rest of her sentence with no apology, evidently. From the yeah. Government. Oh, no, so, no, 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 none. <laughs> giving no. her murderer as her therapist. Cops like, oh, hey, sorry. They're like, you know what? We'll call it even. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was about it. But yeah, yeah, that was kind of that was kind of toward the end. But oh man, yeah, there, there's we missed the, we missed the bunch. But it was the, the movie was. I think like we can all agree the movie was pretty great, right? I mean, I don't think anyone had any. No, it was good. It was great. It was good. I think the one thing we were all confused about at the end is everyone seemed to survive. Yeah. So not only yeah. did Dennis survive the fall, but Eugene survived the stabbing. How did Eugene Amos- survive the stabbing enough to like give to the fork her. and like? Go over to his machinery and turn it on. He, was clearly, like, he had clearly pre-prepped that that fork. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was just, just in case. Just, just in case the stabbing fork. As you, you do, as you yeah. do, man. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, with every movie, you know, there are always some different choices we think the characters could have made. So now we ask, what would you have done differently? Sweet baby Jesus, why? <laughs> Uh, so Jackie, what's one thing you would have done differently? Had, were you any of the characters in this movie? Yeah. So like, <laughs> <laughs> Kylie, I mean, I said it before, like, and again, it turned out okay, but like, bitch is running around, like trying to solve a crime. And like, I know we, we know it's a horror movie, but still you don't break into someone's house that you think is a murderer. That's probably also, you don't shove your hand in their mouth, hoping that they're not going to wake up from their nap. Like, there's just so many things that she does that I'm like, what the fuck, dude? She's brazen. Yeah, like, what the fuck, dude? Every every level, she's very brazen, for sure. Like, also, the stabbing of her poor stepdad, that was Oh, that was we awful. didn't even, do we not even mention No, we this? didn't even talk about this. Oh, and, and like, God. that's the worst part. She's, like, in there, and I'm, uh, these guys heard me, because I'm, like, talking out loud. You gotta look before you stab, man, because you never know who's <laughs> we, coming. Yeah, we gave, we gave as much attention to it as the movie really did. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so. Well, no, look, after she stabs him, she's like, you know what? I'm going to clean the I'll house. clean up once. <laughs> I'll, clean, I'll clean one time. I've been here like a month. I'll clean. <laughs> my bad. Yeah. I'll do the dishes this week. <laughs> my, exactly. My bad. I stabbed you. Yeah. I'll barely, do my own laundry. <laughs> and barely clean the toilet. That's right. <laughs> right. <laughs> and instead of going back for that security guard that so helpfully didn't report you for violating your yeah. parole, uh, I'm going to do some laundry. <laughs> 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 Uh, Lisa, how about you? What would you have done differently? Um, so I think I would have, if I were the mom, I, I mean, I guess she said she didn't have the budget for it, but I mean, Amos put in all those security cameras and I'm like, I think that does, I mean, for the house that size, right? At least go get some, I don't know, baby monitors and spread them around so you can hear what's going on in that, that huge house. So I think I would have beefed up my security a little more earlier than, than they did. To be fair, like maybe maybe not buy a house that well, that too. Wow, well, that, that, hey. that shit was already sailed. Hey. Yeah, that, it was a good tough. deal. Okay, <laughs> I love the part when she's talking good about deal. it. I'll see. Wait until you pass up a bargain when you're paying for your own. That's stuff. true. How many of those security cameras are soft tech two thousand compatible? <laughs> that's right. That's, that's right. That, that's a big uh, consideration. Oh. Nate, how about you? Well, uh, the perfect segue. I would have upgraded my OS on my computer. <laughs> <laughs> that's, 
You would have waited. I mean, seen if there's anything besides dial. Soft I mean, tech twenty fourteen. I mean, you know what? You could say in the same year and go Windows ME. I mean, you could do anything. <laughs> I would even maybe even you know XP if if she could have spent the. Even Vista would have been better. Yeah, Vista. <laughs> sure, go Vista. Let's let's not get crazy. Yeah, she, she, they could have <laughs> solved the, they could have solved this mystery in half the time. Maybe if they'd use Ash Jeeves as well. And yeah, or and, and, Ash and if she yeah. had the computer, she wouldn't have been there. Wouldn't have been as much strife because she wouldn't have to watch the TV and and uh, block the mom from all her soaps and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she could so have streamed like a normal person. It would yeah. have been, I think yeah. I would have been a much much better much better choice for the mom for sure. Yep, Josh. I think the biggest misstep was really Amos. You know, he really deserved to die in many situations. <laughs> oh, man. Shit. Amos, deserve, kill, yourself. kill yourself. You deserve <laughs> it. Let's just go back. So he's going back to investigate this house yeah. where recently someone lost his dental dams. Uh, Wait, a that's a different thing. thing. <laughs> yes. That is a different thing. <laughs> the dental dawn of the dam. Yes. yes. Dental plates. Yes. Dental plates. In a pile of newspapers, he discovers that this person's weirdly <laughs> interested in the murder that happened next door, which why wouldn't you be if you live next door? Yeah, no, yeah, I mean, that's that's yeah. reasonable. But yeah. then he gets caught, and the guy's like, don't worry. It's all about this kid who I used to know who let me clear away this <laughs> little, you know. Crawl space. Crawl space yeah. out and just go investigate in there. But then immediately following that, he's just like, yeah, I think I'll go home. Yeah. Bye. And that's when. Yeah, we're cool. We're cool. We're cool. You broke into my house. We're cool. The Teddy Ruxpin thing keeps talking to him, and yeah. he's like, oh. <laughs> and I'm like, wait, you found out all this stuff right next door, yeah. and you didn't just walk over and say, hey, by the way, there might be a child. Yeah, same scene, right? Yeah. yeah. Same scene. Next, next scene is not, I'm at home now. No, no. You got to let, you got to let Ted three, the revenge play out. Well, you, 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 you got to let, let, let Stu in there a little bit. You yeah. Know? He's yeah, got to yeah, marinate. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think this guy is the smartest guy. Let me, no. let me just throw that He's caveat not. out right now. Yeah. I mean the pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> they were fantastic. He had a nice club shirt though. When he was gonna go out, he had like that nice oh yeah, yeah pattern yeah. shirt. That no, he was I like, thought I thought those were his pajamas. He had but, pants that matched that. God. Those are pajamas. I was giving too much credit as pajamas. Yeah. Yeah. Now I guess I'll retract that. I don't know why they can't be both, Nate. They, it could be his pajamas and his going out. Everyone shirt. to to each his own. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we don't know. What club, we don't know what, no big deal. We don't know what the club, what the hot clubs in New Zealand are. Not True. in this area. I look, this, no. area. this area is in the northern part of the southern island of New Zealand, and it is not populated <laughs> very much. So maybe that is the fashion trend, is right. wearing pajamas two clubs. That could be it. Uh, we don't know. Oh, Lord. Okay, and Patricia, how about you? I mean, just, like, answer the damn phone. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. She finds a crawl space, a creepy-ass crawl space in her house, and the phone is ringing, right? She knows that Amos is doing some investigation. He's off doing his own thing. Pick up the phone and investigate the crawl space right after that conversation. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, well, just there may be it. pertinent information <laughs> yeah, that someone's you never trying know, to give you. Right? Yeah. Was, there supposed, was that supposed to be a scream kind of homage there? Like like the ringing phone with things happening in the background? I don't know, Mitch. What do, what do you think? Maybe I was trying to give it credit for the so, uh, so many phone rings. I don't, I, I don't know that it was. They're just insane people. Okay, it's it. because yeah. there's one phone on the wall, so you can <laughs> right, yeah. not centrally located. <laughs> yeah. I, guess. Yeah. I mean, worst case scenario, you pick up and you know it's it's not Amos giving you information. You just say, hey, by the way, I just found a crawl space in my house. Yeah. If I'm not back in an hour, I would like to let somebody know. know the police. H- hello, would you like fifty percent off your next dental dam? Thank you. <laughs> yeah. oh, God. Then I still got to make money. Yeah. He's yeah. that forever. Yeah. Yeah. He's got what a lot about, of marketing budget uh, now, too. I don't, I don't so, think yeah. you get this about from you, the dentist. <laughs> <laughs> this so, dentist. As corny as it sounds, um, there's a reason why when people used to come home on those sitcoms, they'd always say, honey, I'm home. It's so you don't get shanked in the gut. <laughs> yeah. uh, so Graham, talk more? Is literally. Oh, Graham, first off, yes. I mean, he maybe say something like, anyone down there? I'm coming down. Da- announce that it's you, so that you don't get shanked. He can only he can only talk during ten minute pauses. We have to hold things together. <laughs> well, and then, but Amos, you know, makes it all the way down to them in the basement before he gets attacked. Uh, you know, by Kylie here. Yeah, announce yourself. <laughs> yeah. Now, though, to be fair, if we were watching any other horror movie and someone t- were to announce themselves going into a dark basement, we'd be saying. 
What are you doing? Oh. No. What? We would only we say would that only as I said, hey, I need to take a shower. Is anyone here? That's when it's dumb. <laughs> yeah. I'm in my underwear yeah. and I'm walking downstairs and I'm very scared. Is that, you know, we would tell them, stop announcing yourself. <laughs> It is, it is a fair point. I'll give you yeah, that. Yeah, no, that, that, that's good. You flipped that. It's got that. its that pros good. and cons. I, I just say in this situation. Well, if you're trying to find someone who's, right. whose anklet is cut off, yeah, you should probably yell after them. That, right. That one makes sense. But yeah. yeah, it's. Especially when you know that person's home. It's not like you're entering some abandoned barn. And it's in those cases, it's always there's a noise. And they're like, Josh, is that you? <laughs> you know, like it's it's never like I'm entering this it's place where I Josh. know you live. Like if I went into your house, yeah. I wouldn't be like, Josh, is that you? Yeah. You know, I mean, I would I would just assume, Josh, you home, right? <laughs> that's because you're so scared your balls have gone inside of you. That's why you're that's right. why that was so loud. Right. In this movie, you would have said, Hello, are you there? And then you just hear like Six minutes of creaking <laughs> in the house, and, then, and, and then, maybe a teddy bear. Spin. Yeah, that's yeah. Your, and then a teddy bear comes at you saying "Hello, Moto." That <laughs> Hello, Moto. Whole thing, yeah. Uh, okay, so <laughs> with that, we'll go with awards. We'll do it kind of reverse. I'll start this week. Um, the award for poor dental hygiene goes to literally everyone, everyone. in this town. <laughs> terrible, terrible. It's a team, team. effort. <laughs> it's a team. Effort. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if the dentist is just giving them like bad pamphlets like they go and get their checkup and he's like here just read this this is about how you should rinse your mouth off with so- uh, coca-cola every night uh i, I don't know what's yeah. happening but terrible teeth have you seen have you seen parks and rec yes, yes. they all got jammed oh they all got jammed. <laughs> they all got jammed <laughs> Ponch burgers everywhere yep exactly. uh, patricia how about you okay i'm gonna have to say the boy scout award goes to amos uh, yeah. For having that, you know, he didn't even put on pants when he came to investigate, but he had his recorder in, be, in case yeah. there was a situation where he needed to I mean, to nothing a ghost. happened in the recorder, yeah. but he had it. And he was ready to go. Yeah. Okay, he put nothing case. else on. He put his jacket and his ghost recorder. He's a true and believer. He, he set off. Yeah. <laughs> Let's Josh, go. how about you? I think I'm going to give the most forgiving person award to the mom who's Aww, just like. Yeah. You ate all the meatloaf, and it takes forever to go into town, and I just brought home a huge sack of potatoes, but I guess I'm going to have to go out and get more food. And let her watch TV. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Their yeah. favorite show. Yeah. No. I mean, and she she forgave Eugene like that. Like, yeah, they were still he, being kind well, of at the in end, his he's, lair. He's still living there at the end, right? Yeah. And yeah, but like, even well, when they're I'm, in the lair, that's what Patricia's talking yeah. about. And she's like, don't be mean to him. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah that's the, true. He no. throws the first aid kit, and she's like, what do you say? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, that, mom, that mom was legit. She well, was especially good. when you consider the, the box China. cover. <laughs> right. Yeah. Especially when you consider the box cover is a family portrait. And yeah. it probably was taken after the fact. <laughs> yeah, he had, yeah, he had the I mean, he is an albino. I'm sure a flash would set him on fire. As a pasty white person, I can attest that that probably, yeah. is, probably is accurate. Uh, <laughs> Nate, how about you? I'm going to give uh, the more useful Harry Potter award to Eugene because, hey, uh, Harry Potter in, in the in the show, if, or in the show, in the movie <laughs> series, if you guys haven't seen it, is he, he's in a room right under the stairs, right? That's where he's stored by his terrible step family or whatever, right? Eugene basically has the same thing happen to him, but then he turns that into a positive. He learns how to he learns how to do electronics. He learns how to be a mechanic. He actually makes crawl spaces. If Harry Potter had done this, uh, I feel like that would have been a way better series. I, <laughs> you're, yes, we're not gonna get into yeah. Harry wow, Lisa, Lisa, we're not getting words. I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm yeah. I'm getting okay. a Avada Kedavra okay. from Lisa right now. <laughs> We'll get into it. Um, so my award, and it segues nicely off of Nate's, is I'm gonna say. Best artist who lives in a crawl space <laughs> oh. because he was self taught and yet those drawings oh, were yes, really well done. Good perspective, you know. Yeah. It's like very... charcoal. What was that? I don't even know <laughs> no. what that was. Yeah. Uh, probably what was in the vase. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that shit was good. So, yeah, it's all, good. <laughs> all right, and Jackie. Um, I think I'm gonna get best fucked up faces to Kylie because oh, those were some yeah. great faces, facials. Just every every, no matter what, and scary, funny moment. It was just like, what is she? What, what is she thinking? Like what? Yeah. What? Uh, what? She's like in yeah. any circumstance, how can I make my face less attractive? <laughs> <laughs> she nailed it every time. Do they? Yeah. You know? <laughs> I don't know if the, I don't know if making a face for the podcast is the best uh, medium for that, but, but Mitch just nailed it. I, I, I'll, I'll take a laugh, picture so. and put it on the cover. Yeah, exactly. I'll replace our normal <laughs> cover with that. I'm sure everyone will appreciate it. All right. Well, now we're going to my favorite section, the one I look forward to every week. Final cut. 
So this week we give our rating. It's on a scale of 10, 10, whatever it is you want it to be. Uh, I'm just going to, I'm going to change it up a little bit. Josh, we'll start with you this time. All right. So I want to label this one, the home alone of horror movies with eight out of 10 ghost sheets in the basement. Wow. Nice. Ooh, man. I like yeah. Home alone reference. Nice. Wow, that's well high praise. Uh, Lisa, how about you? I'm going to give it eight out of 10 dental plates. Oh, <laughs> oh, nice. I have to change my rating. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did steal her quote, so she stole your oh, that's fair. rating. <laughs> that's fair. Uh, okay, uh, Patricia. All right. I mean, I guess I'm going to go eight out of 10 jars of bodily fluid. God damn it, Patricia. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> Or, excuse me, ceramic pitchers of bodily yeah, fluid. That's exactly what I was going to say. Uh, Nate. I'll give this one uh, 7 out of 10 crawl spaces. Nice, nice, yeah. nice. Jackie. Well, Patricia's still mine. But um, <laughs> <laughs> I'll give it 8 out of 10 stabbing your friend. Wow. Oh. 8 out of 10 stab, just stabbing. Stabbing, stabbing. Yeah, you're that's right. Why, just stabbing. That's why people got stabbed in this movie, so it totally works. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to give it seven out of ten eight foot tall Jesuses. <laughs> <laughs> can, 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 I, can I amend Jesus, mine? I want to give it a seven out of ten hello motos. <laughs> <laughs> solid. All right, so all around, a very solid movie. So if you have not seen it, check it out. Uh, that is it for this week's episode of Texas Podcast Massacre. Once again, Jackie, Josh, Patricia, thank y'all so much for joining us. Hopefully we'll have y'all back again pretty soon. You may have to twist Jackie's arm, I think, a little bit more. Uh, <laughs> but we'll definitely have y'all back soon. Uh, Nate, tell them where they can find us. Sure, they can find us at TexasPodcastMassacre.com and at TXPodMassacre on Twitter. Great. 